All right, seven days, 20K. Yep. Did that even that out at all? No, it's still hunchback five days. How do I prioritize? So this is a three day repair and I want it going first. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, well, we just gotta move time forward. We can't go to, we can't do any missions until we move time forward. So let's move time forward. How much cash are we sitting on? 400K. Okay. It did update differently when we moved forward. Okay, Hunchback's done in a day. Okay, Hunchback's done. Only the line, line holder in progress right now. We should get that other mech bay active. I wonder if we should repair, then sell the stinger. I want to get rid of this stupid mech. This mech's terrible. I want better sensors. I'm not sure. I, I think the problem is this, right? Which is, I think all of our other sensors are upgraded now. Uh, but I'm not 100% on, on that. So let's take a quick look. The spider's got, we upgraded his sensor package. He's running the sensor sniper is fine and then the panther is running i think just the powered sensors yeah and then the line breakers already or line was it line breaker or line holder line holder is already um being repaired so we can't modify it more so it really does come down to and i'm pretty sure I think we can actually see it when we click on this too, right? Oh, it's task in progress blocking us. It's annoying I can't look at my mechs while it's happening. But I'm pretty certain they have um, improved uh, sensors as well. But I can't remember. It's the ECM package. But I can't remember if that is a sensor package or if that is a other component package. So the question is, what do we want to do with this hunchback? Do we just want to throw in the initiative for now because it's a quick modification we can do? We could also get the endo steel in there. That might be worth the days. We need two days worth of stuff. It's just expensive as fuck to do that. It sucks because we, if we had known, we wouldn't have done this in the first place. I think we just start with this, which is much less expensive. Throw in the battle computer for a day. Um, we have no tonnage left over. ECM stands for electronic countermeasures. Shouldn't be sensors. I think the sensor package does that though. The sniper sent the sniper's sensor package is a sensor upgrade that also puts out ECM. So I think it may be in that same location. We're ready to go. Two days till escalation, uh, 14 days to financial report, five days till we have to afford another upgrade on the Argo. Uh, three of our pilots are fatigued, but we're ready for another mission. So let's look at what we're gonna be doing. Our mechs are ready to go. Okay, let's get our people leveled. Dude, really? We didn't get enough experience to level piloting by one? Feels bad. Who else we bring in? We need our second officer. Second officer hasn't come out yet, which I believe is Death Crusade. Yep. Command experience. Okay. Uh, what are we doing with him? We wanted a second ace pilot. Could be him. Also don't really want them being wounded, but we don't level tactics on him particularly. So this is probably grabbing um, ace piloting like that. Gunnery four then. I'm not gonna have anyone with high gunnery skills on this one. Okay. What does Bud end up doing if we do invest in Bud? Complete. Bud's got 7,500 experience. We already have two people training for the long distance role, which is probably about as much as I want. I'm so unexcited by multi-target so far though. It seems so bad. Sucks, sucks that I have to take to get accuracy. I have to take a fucking ability that seems terrible. So that was definitely melee oriented. This was pretty good gunnery. Can go all the way up to ace pilot if we want another ace pilot. It seems really good. What's the secondary on this? That also seems fairly interesting. Multi target gets better when you get modules that enable breaching shot. So I'm building two long range guys. That's these guys. 
I don't really want to build any more long range until I have some sense of how many long range mechs I'm going to be using. It would be nice to have a couple more people with ace pilot. Uh, we're at two right now, I believe. That guy and that guy. This one is building gunnery ace pilot. I could build a different version. But what? Tactician ace pilot? I think that's not really where we want to be. I mean, maybe. I don't think so, though. So, do we build a third gunnery like that? We could try, the gunnery ones could maybe be some of them like Warlord plus Ace Pilot and some of the other ones could be uh, Ace, could be um, Phantom Mech plus, I don't even know. Phantom Mech looks like it would synergize nicely with um, punching people in front line, but I think Berserker seems really good. So if we're not gonna do that, what would Phantom Mech end up with? Phantom Mech Tactician doesn't give us accuracy at all and gives us a bunch of fucking melee bonuses. See, this is so painful. Like, to get this, I have to be, like, super melee invested. So, if I end up with Phantom Mech, I mean, it feels like it'd be okay to run, like, enhance ability to avoid damage for two turns with a flat plus two increase to invasion with any movement. This can exceed your maximum allowed. Visibility and signature reduced by 50% for the duration. That feels like it synergizes with uh, E-War pretty well, but five turn cooldown is pretty shit. And uh, this seems really high investment. But I don't want all of my pilots being built exactly the same on our first playthrough of a game because part of the idea is figuring out how well these, what these things synergize with and what you end up doing with them. So what then would we actually get out of so we have, we, we're already building two people who are supposed to be ace pilot and gunnery, and we're already building two people who are building tactics and gunnery. So what do we build? And we're already building one person for the melee, the melee role of juggernaut plus um, berserker. So what could we do differently with this? It either comes down to, we could try a, uh, a warlord tactician thing as a still a non, not indirect fire thing, or we could try um, the piloting thing. Oh, I didn't look at the biome. Yeah. All right, we do have allies. Are the allies units that are just vulnerable, or do they have weapons? Light support tanks, striker support tank, and another arrow for urban mech. So we got allies with damage. All right, do we know where they are? Pirate flag over there. This train looks pretty garbage. What is this? Rough terrain. Marshy terrain. Sensors are offline during the first round of battle. All right, all right. Let's move into this, no, this terrain then. The arrow four was the one that killed me yesterday, correct? When he missed and killed our entire team. Okay. Got something here. That I has tactician or we'll reserve on him. PPC. They over. They missed that. They added ninety. They missed that by ninety six. It's hilarious. Okay. Do we know what they're rocking? That's three mechs. Uh. That looks like an urban mech. Oh, it gives me this. Urban mech commando and I don't know what a Frankie is. Okay. All right, supposedly we have a shot here. 24% at this range? Oh my God. Yes, please. All right, commando has energy missile missile. Energy, energy ballistic. Let's start on this urban mech. Hit him. Feels good. All right, let's get a move. We go here.
Did he just kill us again? All the pirates have been eliminated. And David can start moving with their people through the area. I don't understand this unit. Why does this exist? Why do my allies have access to a weapon that I didn't do anything here? We moved up, positioned, and our ally killed the entire team in a single shot. Sometimes he does this to us. All right, can we get a can we get a clip of that? I'm gonna at uh, the the game design for this and ask her what the hell is going on with that. Mission successful. All right, easiest mission in the world. All right. Let me give you the feedback from the develop the, the dev here. You have installed nuclear weapons. They are not meant for serious play, semi-serious, but what did you expect when you clicked the install option that says nuclear weapons? I expected that it was a, wasn't a troll option. Um, so how do I turn it off? If that's nukes, and that's, that's a semi-serious option that- Why would you have that option? For a new player that it's so game-changing and so useless. All right, how do I turn that off? Probably can mess with it here, right? And these are default options. I didn't turn it on. It's an option to install only. So all game we're going to be playing with that? That's so fucking painful. Oh, it's an install option. So it's not even here. So it's something I clicked on the fucking install. I won't lose campaign progress. I just have to reinstall the mod with that off. Is that correct? Oh, that's fine. If we just have to reinstall the mod, the mod took a couple minutes to install. Nukes are not defaults. And no, that was a nuke, she says. <sighs> Chat. That's not going to be a fun thing to have. I wonder if I can do the install on screen. Could. All right. Well, we, we don't want to, whatever that was, that was totally stupid. Totally not fun. Um, nukes are a troll option. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't remember if there was a warning message when I enabled that or not. We're going to see this time around. But as a new player, I had no idea what a nuke was. I just assumed it was a portion of the game. So installing it was an optional component was the same as installing the optional components that were based on what DLC I had was my understanding when I installed it. But let's do this again. So let's dig up the Rogue Tech install. Uh, from this. Alright, options for this. What are we looking at? Uh, so we did the offline version. We did the difficulty by company rating. Scales with your power level. Good. We did uh, randomized battle spawns. Good. We did the DLC modules. Flashpoint Urban Warfare. Select which error units to enable. Seems fine. Hero units. Sure. Optimal mods and components. Yes. Protomex. Sure. Except, I think I just clicked this whole group. Super heavies, elite pilots, Republic Institute of Strategic Combat, pirate tech units, heavy artillery units, experimental weapons, drones, nuclear weapon carriers apparently is the one that I didn't want. There's no fucking warning here and it's in like 25 others. Are there other ones in this long list of things that I shouldn't be installing because they just break the game and are in fact troll options? Anyone? Do we know? It's not a troll option. Sure looked like a troll option. Two things have happened to me, right? The first was it killed my entire team from a friendly missing and hitting me. And the second was it did destroyed the entire opposing team with a single hit. That seems like a pretty troll option. Turn off artillery? How do I know, chat? As a player who has no background in lore, what, what does any of this shit mean to me? My thought was this is just added complexity, which is interesting. Arrow four is artillery, artillery is troll. What else do I turn off here? Get used to that kind of effect, really? Get used to one hit on your entire team or the imposing entire entire enemy team? Can't I hover? Um, nope. See, but okay, but as a, as a player installing this game, I have no understanding what I've just turned off or turned on. Doesn't the wiki explain all this? Maybe I'm not reading the wiki then. Maybe that's it. Oh, look. Um, mission control. Non-cannon units, nuclear weapon carries. Nuclear weapon carriers, legendary. Mechs and vehicles armed with lootable nuclear warheads. Also doesn't tell me as a new player that that is a one hit mechanic that either one hits the enemy or one hits your team and ends your campaign. Yeah, um, reading the, the wiki here chat, 
So I, I, I don't mind being told to read the fucking manual. I kind of agree with that sentiment in general. But reading this manual didn't actually let me make a decision about that as a new player. What do I expect the nuke to be? Okay, don't do not do this. This is, this is ambush all over again, right? This is the idea that because we're playing a game, the game, uh, the game rules translate directly to real life rules and vice versa, right? What do I expect the nuke to be? I expect the nuke to be a balanced component of the game I'm playing. That's what I expect the nuke to be. Like, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that better. I expect it to be a part of the game that you play with, right? How do you play with that, Lady Electo? I, I'm very interested in that. When my, when my allied unit one-shots my team from behind with a friendly fire nuclear missile, what do I play with that? Like as a new player, as a new player who doesn't have the lore to understand that apparently that just ends the game and you restart. Like I, I really, really think that is... If you want to double down on the idea that that is a rational, rational thing for people to engage with, I think, um, I don't know. I don't know where to go with that. There are no other one ship mechanics. <laughs> Freudian slip, sure. Okay, good. Then let's move on. All right. First time install auto encode. I don't know what this means, but we'll say yes. Clean previous install. Yes. Uh, remove skirmish saves and game settings. No. Okay. 